Welcome back to the channel. We're uh, gonna start this week. Uh, I'm gonna be building out this front porch. <clears throat> I have to get the front porch built before I can install the, the uh, insulation up here and then put sheeting across there. This is the last open space of the house, uh, minus the three windows we still have to put in, but we're getting closer with sealing this thing off totally and keeping out the magpies. That's, uh, that's driving me a little crazy. Anyway, we're gonna get busy with this and uh, get our front porch built. That'll be a big step and another big project off our list if we can get this, when we get this done, not if. Well, originally the plan was, was to use the floor joists uh, that we had. They sent out uh, 10 of these things uh, for the uh, for the front porch. The problem is th with the uh, sill plate on the foundation uh, it raises me up an inch and a half and uh, also when I go to level it out when you level out this beam to level it doesn't give me any spacing for decking um, so that's uh, that's a major problem with the use of these. So we're going to ditch uh, using the floor joists in this part of, for the for the porch and instead I'm going to use uh, uh, two by eights and uh, for all the floor joists going across north to south um, and we'll get that uh, get that squared away. I think that's the easiest solution that gives us plenty of room for all the decking and everything else that uh, that we need to get this front porch going. All right, so we have our uh, base attached to the house, and now we'll uh, start figuring out the actual sides and the front piece here, and, I, and then we'll start calculating out what we need for our uh, joists. But that was one of the main things. I have a bit of a gap underneath the door once I put the two by sixes in, which is fine. What I'll do is I'll put a piece of uh, the trim underneath there and make it look all, all nice and decorative. It'll match up better with the trim than having it start at the base of the door anyway so we'll just keep going with that and we're getting closer and closer to getting the actual porch I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about it but of course we've got intermittent spring weather a little bit of snow flurries here and there and it's still a little bit chi pretty chilly nothing will stick but we're still dealing with it
So our support frame is built all the way around. Now the next thing I have to do is start marking out 16 inches on center for all of the uh, joists that go in between here. Uh, that shouldn't be too complex, but I want to make sure I get it uh, get it right from one end to the other, and then we'll start installing all the uh, floor joists in here. I've got all these things uh, marked 16 inches on center. Uh, I've got to uh, figure out what I'm going to do with my joist brackets. Uh, they're going to go on the inside here, and I'll nail flush to this board here. Uh, it should be, or I should, maybe I should just put joist hangers on both sides. I don't know. I got to give that some thought and think about what we're doing here. So these are the joist hangers that I'm going to be using. I got 19 of these bad boys to install, and then we can start uh, putting in the floor, uh, joists, floor joists for this uh, deck. But uh, luckily, these things don't have as many nails as the joists as did for the trusses. Man, those things had a lot of nails. These things are only two per side, and then the, you know, the connecting nails to tie everything together. So we'll get these, uh, get these on and go in here. because it's starting to get some snow flurries well luckily that passed pretty quickly i it's no big deal but i don't want to get the camera wet or uh, necessarily sit out here in the sleet and rain for a couple of minutes even if it's only lasts like 10 50 minutes so we will get back to hanging all of our joist hangers <laughs> Got all of the uh, joist hangers in. Like I said, I nailed them on one side. Once I put the floor joist in and even them out, then I'll tack it in the other side and then nail them to the actual board. So we're all set. We'll start cutting floor joists and stringing those across, but we're uh, making good progress. Like I said, that's uh, not a lot of work, but it's enough to warm me out after a bit. All right, so I've got one uh, one in. I've got 18 more of these to go, so we'll uh, we'll just keep at this and uh, keep it going. But that's, uh, come along, pretty happy with it. they say if you wait five minutes here in Montana the weather will change the uh, sleet's gone and now we've got sunshine probably some more sleet in the distance as you can see but anyway I got all of the uh, floor joists in now I just have to run the bracing right through the center and then we'll uh, be done with the uh, decking part this part here and then we'll continue on with the decking but uh, the next part is uh, for sorry forgive the wind um, 
it's got these uh, braces right down through the center of it so it gives a little bit more stability so we've got plenty of cutaway from doing the floor joists so we get busy with uh, putting in all the bracing So I've got all the bracing in finally. It didn't uh, take much, but it was a little bit of work because you got a high step over all this stuff. I'm certainly getting the exercise that I need to burn off some of this winter weight. So that's all good news. Anyway, the next thing that goes on here, I'm gonna put on the, the skirting that's on here. It's gonna have to be custom modified and I don't have a table saw out here. Uh, the one I have is mighty dangerous. It's one I almost lost my finger on uh, two years ago. So I don't play with that one much. I've got it in case I really, really need it, but I think I can do this with the with a circular saw. Anyway, I'll get the skirting on and I'll show you when it's done. We got the skirt on. As you can see, it looks nice all the way across and around. Uh, I think that adds some stability to the deck as well as it uh, gets rid of the two, the look of the uh, seal uh, plate and then the the two by eight above it uh, just makes it look cleaner all the way around so now with that started now we got to try and start figuring out the uh, actual decking but we're uh, we're looking good so one of the things i got to figure out when i start this uh with the two by sixes is this edge right here. Uh, I've got a bit, quite a bit out here. I've got three inches here, three inches here, which is fine. But then I've got this beam. So I've got to be able to compensate with two two by sixes uh, running this way along here to uh, go around the post and look, uh, look nice. So we'll get busy trying to figure that out. That's a little bit of math and some calculations, but I'm pretty sure I can get her done.
two rows has taken me a considerable bit longer than I thought it was going to, but I'm trying to be as precise as I can because I want a certain look around these posts and see how they're sit flush all the way around the post. That's what I was going for. And so it's uh, taken a bit of work, a little bit of custom cutting here and there to make this work. Uh, but I've got what I'm after and now I just got to finish it on that end down there. Uh, and then we're good to continue just doing the rest of the deck. But this front section is the most critical uh, since it'll be the most highly exposed. And then around these edges here, what I'll do is I'll put some uh, some really nice molding around to make it look uh, even better. I think that'll look kind of cool once it's done, but it's coming along pretty well. <laughs> it just takes a little bit of uh, math on my end and some custom cutting, which if I was a professional with this, I'd probably already have this section wiped out, but I want to make it do make it right. So I'm, I'm going ahead and taking my time with it, but it's coming along. Well, I can't tell you how nice it is to uh, be out here when it's sunny and warm, or it's probably uh, 50 degrees, and that is a big change from a week and a half ago where it was, you know, really snowing and still in the 20s with a high of, uh, in the high 30s, early 40s. Anyway, that's good to finally have a little change of weather. We got the first two rows in around the post. That was a big job, but uh, I'm pretty satisfied with how that turned out. And now I can just start uh, doing my decking all the way towards the door and uh, that should be a lot easier than that. But that front section was what I wanted to really concentrate on and make sure that it turned out right and uh, it did. So we'll just continue on with putting in our rest of our things. It'll be nice to have a front porch when we're done. I got quite a bit done today. We got the uh, center boards in, or center braces in. We got the uh, fascia around the deck, and then we've got some of the decking cut in. The, really, the important stuff was right around these beams. Uh, that looked, again, that looks really nice, and I've got it how I want it. <clears throat> it's just time consuming, uh, making sure everything's level, and I've got the right gaps throughout these. So uh, that's about it for today, and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. and continue on but we're coming along right right as planned so hopefully tomorrow we can finish this all off that's my that's my goal anyway well it is the next day and we are back at it we're uh, gonna try and finish this all off today that's my goal anyway and uh, we'll just keep at it but uh, the cloud cover moved back in it's a little bit chillier today but it's still supposed to be kind of warm so I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that hopefully losing the jacket here in a few hours and be able to work without it but we'll continue on and uh, knock off the rest of this deck There's about halfway uh, the, through the deck, but like I said, the hardest part for me is uh, making sure that all the gapping is correct in between the boards and that there's no humps and swells in there. So I'm having to use the uh, 
clamp to make sure everything evens out and, and does what it needs to do as I'm going along. So that, uh, that eats up a lot of time. Other than that, it's going pretty good. Uh, aside from being windy as hell out here, at least it's a little warmer than normal and uh, yeah, we can deal with the wind anyway, but uh, sorry about the noise anyway. But we'll just keep going. Like I said, we got the rest of the half deck. When we get to this part right here against the house, that's probably where we're going to have to uh, rip a board to match, but we'll see what uh, we'll see what we got when we get there. But we'll continue on with this and then uh, doing the edge of the seams uh, where the boards meet. I'm going to drill uh, those with a, a quarter, or 16 inch, 1 and 1 16th, I guess, drill bit, and then uh, draw the screws. That way the ends don't split on the board. So we'll just keep, keep at it and uh, continue on with building our deck. And there we have it. I got that uh, deck completed. This was a big project that's been waiting for a long time. Again, I'm really happy with how these corners come out, came out. I'm gonna put some trim around these at, at the base. <clears throat> and I've got some stuff I've gotta neaten up. I'm gonna pull some of these up and do, maybe tweak them a little bit. But overall, it's done and I am very happy with that. We now can enter into the house, uh, easy peasy. And then again, underneath the door uh, will be trim work. I, there was no way to lift this deck up any higher based on the board sizes that I had to work with without modifying 2x12s um, to match. So there we have it. It's a big project off our list, and now we'll continue on with other stuff. Uh, now, now that I have the deck done, I can get this up here, uh, all this up in this part, um, get OSB up there. I just have to figure out what I'm going to do if I'm going to do uh, spray and in insulation or if I'm going to uh, put up regular bat insulation there. But I want to get that sealed off. To, that's the last bit where the magpies are flying in there and going still into the house. So uh, that's a big one that we need to work on. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. <clears throat> so if you like these type of things, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification when new videos are uploaded. And uh, make sure to leave some comments. I love getting them. Anyway, thanks for watching.